Hi guys, this week on What's Cooking Wahida, we are making a dumpling dish similar to those found in cuisine of China, Korea, Tibet, Russia, Turkey, and Armenia. You may have heard of dumplings like mandu, mumu, jiaozi, manti, or mante. Today we are making mantu. The type found in Afghanistan, a ground beef mirepoix dumpling with a ragu and buttermilk sauce. Let's get started. First, we need to prepare the ground beef for both the filling and topping. Today I am using two pound ground beef, six garlic cloves, half a teaspoon fresh grated ginger, and one tablespoon salt. Place the beef in a saucepan. Add two cups of water and break up the ground beef completely. Add the salt, grate in the ginger, and crush the garlic and set to medium high heat to cook the beef then place the lid and set to low for 20 minutes to cook off the moisture for the ragu or topping you are going to need one cup olive oil three cups of roughly chopped yellow onions three cups of mixed bell peppers and green chilies, four garlic cloves, 10 tablespoons or five ounce tomato paste, two cups bread kidney beans. Pour the cup of olive oil in a saucepan and set to medium high. Use a wooden spoon to test the oil. If it bubbles around the spoon, the oil is hot enough. Add in the onions and peppers. Cook them until translucent. Then add garlic cloves. Add in the tomato paste. Add in two cups of beef we cooked earlier. and the kidney beans as well. Then pour in half a cup of water, place the lid on and set to low for five minutes. Let us move on to the buttermilk sauce. I'm using the traditional dry buttermilk called krut that the original recipe calls for this may be hard to find. The krut or dry buttermilk is hard as a rock you need to soak them in hot water for two days to soften for the white sauce i am adding a clove of garlic one tablespoon dry mint and one cup rehydrated buttermilk and three cup heavy cream into a food processor Billets, then add a quarter teaspoon salt. I change from processor to bullet to make it more smooth. Store it in the fridge for later. Now for the dough, we need two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, two third cup water, and half a teaspoon salt. Work the dough until all the flour is incorporated, then cover it in plastic wrap and set aside to rise for 15 minutes. I made three of these dough balls to cook about 90 dumplings. Time, let's prepare the filling for dumplings. We need seven and a half cups onion cut into large chunks, a half cup shredded carrot, two tablespoon olive oil, half tablespoon crushed coriander seed, half tablespoon crushed 
cumin, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon salt, two and a half cups ground beef. Throw the onion and garlic into a food processor and blitz it until finally chopped. In a bowl add the onion, ground beef, carrot, oil and seasoning then mix it all up. Let's get back to our dough. Flour your work survey then start rolling out the dough until about the thickness of a nickel. Then cut into 4x4 four four squares and set aside. Now you are going to need your steamer. I am filling the base halfway with water. Don't go too high or the boiling water will splash the bottom of your first layer of dumplings and tear them open. While the steamer comes to a boil, let's start filling the dumplings. Grab a plate and coat it with olive oil and fill a small bowl with water. Grab a dough square and soak the edge with water. I have a small ice cream scoop I am using which is about half a tablespoon and place a dog of the filling in the middle of the dough. Fold one corner to the other and pinch. Then fold in each side to the tip and pinch all the way down the open creases. Now you can leave it like this. I usually bring together the two points on each side and pinch one last time. Then place on the plate with oil. Repeat for all of your dumplings. Now that our steamer is boiling, let's placing the dumplings in. Space them about half an inch apart. Place the lid and steam for 15 minutes. To plate, spread the buttermilk sauce on your plate, then place the dumplings on top. A spoon on the topping, sprinkle some extra chili powder. Then spoon buttermilk sauce over the top. The amounts are up to your taste. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, leave them below. If you want more recipe like this, hit the subscribe button. I post weekly recipe videos. So come back next week to see what's cooking.